Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're doing some holiday cooking today. I'm going to make a couple of recipes that I usually, this is like a salad that I often make for Christmas dinner. And I'm also going to make some zucchini blossoms because don't ask me how in the middle of December, these were at my market. And whenever I see them fresh, especially when they have like the cute little zucchini on the end, it's like, you gotta make them, they are there. So I'm going to make stuffed zucchini blossoms, which is also an amazing um, appetizer for, whenever you can get zucchini blossoms, it's a little hard to plan. Um, and Violet is going to make her very famous- Ginger snaps. Yes, but I'm sorry, but she's not gonna give you the recipe. I'm just gonna tell you right now, not yet. We're just not gonna yet. say not, not yet. yet. Um, Keeping this one in the family. Yeah, so, um, wanted to start the show i know a lot of you watched the full memorial um suzanne's celebration of life that we posted it is at suzannesummers.com if you haven't seen it we're posting clips and highlights all week on instagram and facebook um, but the entire presentation uh, we wanted to share with you guys so i am so tender and um, from reading all of your comments. It's been so sweet. Um, thank you, Anne. Um, it's been so sweet to read all of your notes. Um, a lot of you have DM'd me and a lot of you have um, left tributes at SuzanneSummers.com, which we really appreciate. We read all of them. Um, but um, thank you, Charlene. Oh, um, I felt like in in putting together that memorial, it was like, okay, you've had like, it felt like a thesis to me, because it's like you've had this amazing lifetime of learning and training, and now like, now you have to do your thesis and put it in a final presentation, and it's so hard to do, because she was so expansive and taught all of us so much. Um, so to try to, you know, not keep it into you know, hours long presentation, which she's worthy of. And there are already talks about doing something more in depth, but for our family and our friends and for our extended family, we just wanted to put together something that would give you the highlights of so many of the things that we did, that she did in her life that were so impactful on so many people. And of course the, um, the most lasting and the, the biggest imprint that she left was 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 that love that she gave to all of us. And I think it's why you all tuned in over all of these years and it's why you felt that connection for her. You know, I mean, yeah, like we we love the the, the olive oil, but but you connected with her just because of that dynamic and emotional impact that she had on all of us and i and i say this all the time but it really she treated you guys the same as she treated us yeah. like it was really she sure. loved being a celebrity she loved meeting she people that that she had never met before she was so open and um happy to hear your stories and so many of you stopped her when you would see her or saw her in a restaurant would say you know, you really saved my life with bioidentical hormones or you helped me lose weight or, you know, I had um, an issue with mold and you saved my family or so, or, or just you made me laugh or you made me, you know, you turned me on to organic skincare or there's so many things that she did, you know, her, her lecturing and um, all the books that she wrote. So, it is a beautiful, there's so much to celebrate. And I think having, you know, the people who are closest to her and her family to sort of speak throughout the stages of her life and highlight to them what an impact she had. Um, so we are, we are all filled with emotion um, hearing you guys react to that. So thank you for that um, beautiful response. And again, if you haven't seen the entire memorial, it is at suzannesummers.com and we'll be posting um, highlights throughout the week. But today um, we are going to, we're gonna just try, we're coming in for a soft landing. You know, I said to my family, I'm like, I'm not, um, usually I, I in the past have tend to 
work myself like to the bone and then like once the deadline hits and I would sort of fall off that cliff and um, sometimes get sick or sometimes, you know, just get depressed, whatever that is. And I'm like, I'm coming in for soft landing. So we are just rolling into the holidays and um, you know what? I'm just taking the stress off this year. And it's amazing how much you can get, it's amazing how much you can get done in a very short amount of time. Cause I really mm -hmm. just started on Friday or Saturday and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm close to being done. Now it's, now it's the fun part. Now it's the cooking. And I think Violet especially has been so important in reminding me that it's like, it's not all about getting stuff done and getting the list done. Like this is the time that you get together with friends and family and you celebrate and you hang out. So, um, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. You have thoughts you want to share, Violet? No, just like extending gratitude again. I think, um, what I've been saying is one of the benefits of her being a public person is that everyone's been mourning with us. So having that extra support, I mean, it's hard enough to have a loss, but having that extra support, is something a lot of people don't get. So all your messages and um, words of encouragement and support are really, really appreciated. And I know my whole family and my grandfather really appreciates it too. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so let's get cooking, well, shall we? This um, sure. I'm going to have, um, Violet. Do I flip Here, it? I'll, I'll help you with it. Okay. So oh, we're like going to flip the cameras. Yep. Sorry. You're going to look at nothing for a second. And then I'm going to pop this out. Here we go. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. Terrific. So if you want to come this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start by making you a salad. Look at this incredible lettuce that I found. Um, I found it at Italy, and when I find this, it's a pink radicchio, and it's just so, that's so beautiful. And then this is frise, which is a baby escarole, and also I love the taste, but I also love the color. Um, so I'm just going to quickly put together a little salad for you. I pulled out my, my china. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Christmas. So these are already washed. I'm just going to. Do we want to talk about the deal, the gift cards? Oh yeah, you guys, gift cards. Um, so if you need last minute switch them. This way. Yep. If you need last minute gifts, we have um, our gift card promotion up at Suzanne Summers. Oh, actually, they're both. None of them are backwards. Oh, because they're okay. this way. We're all going this way. Um. Oh, one of them is backwards. Sorry, <laughs> it's so confusing. Okay, here, anyway. I'm just gonna put up one at a time and you can Okay, focus here we on. go. Okay, so if you buy a $100 gift card, you get a $50 gift card for free. And if you buy a $50 gift card, you get a $25 gift card for free. So the that is like getting 33% off. So if you are someone who shops at SuzanneSummers.com, you can buy these for yourself and you can use them whenever you want when it's time, you know, you can get the gift card and the free gift, or you can get the gift card and it's a digital delivery. So if you're someone who hasn't done your shopping, you can deliver this all the way through Christmas day and someone that you know who would love organic, beautiful products or somebody who's looking to get healthy and wants to get some supplements or some um, gut renew at the beginning of the year, somebody who wants to make the switch to organic makeup, or if you want to get those beautiful holiday candles and things, you just give them a gift card. They get to pick exactly what they want, and then you get that bonus. The bonus usually, the bonus gift card usually arrives within a day. So um, when you send that first gift card, give us about a day to process getting you the extra gift card. Um, so that's, a, you know, obviously an amazing, amazing deal. And we only do it Sometimes once, sometimes twice a year. Sometimes we also do it at Mother's Day. So, okay, look at these spectacular leaves here. I'm going to do one as a little liner. And this is where you can just decorate a little on your plate. I think I'm going to use the Meyer lemon and the vanilla fig. I love those pink lettuces. There is spectacular. People are saying any update on Wellis Air. Do you know what oh, that means? Yes, I do. Um, so the 
the the new the the container that Bruce has been waiting for just cleared customs. So I know he is working on getting you know as soon as he gets them in, um, they are going to try to ship those out. I know he's desperately trying to make things before the holiday, but he um, you'll have to check with the Wellis Air customer service about when they're coming in. They had an issue with customs, which you know you know is the case when shipping internationally, but they rushed everything. And the good news is that it has cleared. So um, I will make sure that Bruce gets you guys an update. Francesca pointed out how the lettuce matches the plates. Well, Francesca. Do you think that was planned by my <laughs> very perfectionistic mother? Look how pretty that is. Look at okay. that. Yeah. Someone said, I'm Peggy Garden said, I'm giving one to my 23 year old daughter who has fallen in love with liquid oxygen, the oh. stuff and sexy leg renew and joint ease for me. Nice, nice. Okay, so here's what I'm going to dress this with. I'm going to use the Meyer lemon olive oil. These are these beautiful infused olive oils and um, balsamics that Suzanne sourced and fell in love with. And I'm like, oh my God, I have never tasted anything as good as this. They, they really are spectacularly good. Um, the Meyer lemon, if you haven't tried any, I would recommend trying starting with Meyer lemon because it's just that good. Yeah, and it's um, subtle. Yeah, it's but it has it just gives everything just like a little brightness. Yum. And they're they're just they're just incredibly high quality products. This is that beautiful, the vanilla fig has like a really earthy, nutty flavor. I just mm -hmm. love it. So, oh, but you know what? Well, we'll see. Okay. I am going to, I'm going to put the vinegar on at the, at the end. So this is this unbelievably delicious gorgonzola. I'm showing you the label because everyone always asks, gorgonzola cremicato, cremificato, and it is in in Italy, they call it cucchiaio, which means spoon because it is that delicious with a spoon. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this on here. Everyone gets a little present. I love the Meyer lemon as a dipping sauce, someone yes, said. Yes, absolutely. Meyer lemon and pomegranate, Shelly's fave. Well, um, and here's the thing. I was going to use... Meyer lemon and pomegranate on this, but that was when I was going to have pomegranate um, seeds on the top. But instead I decided to use these cranberries and with the cranberries, I think the vanilla fig is gonna be a little better. So I have these gorgeous um, pistachios. Pistachi. So I'm just going to chop these up here. off of them gives it a little Francesca did you notice that oh what the nuts also match yeah but it's also just a delicious it all matches nut. okay and then a couple you are a paisano Caroline that is true what's a paisano it's Italian <laughs> <laughs> you are making me so hungry okay so a couple little cranberries so I love wow. like the combination of the sweet and salty in this. It's great. Now I of course would probably add some crispy prosciutto as well because I just love crispy prosciutto on everything. Sorry. Let me get my vanilla fig. Okay, here we go. Okay. You can see this is so thick and beautiful. You really just need a tiny drizzle on the top unless you are Camellia Summers. You make a soup. Yeah, Camellia. This is a 12 year aged balsamic and wow. then it's infused with these beautiful many different flavor profiles and it's truly spectacular you cannot miss on this for if you need a hostess mm -hmm. gift or if you are somebody who you know doesn't know how to cook this will turn you into a magically great cook 
Okay, a little. They're salt loving pepper. the presentation. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over here. What a beautiful Look at holiday that. salad, right? Look at that. And crispy prosciutto. Okay, so Violet, let's go over here. I'm gonna just show all the other. These are the other flavors of, I put a few of them out here. The basil, the basil is also really good with the manila fig, I'm going to say. The Herbe de Provence has just a touch of that lavender and rosemary in it. It's, del I mean, lavender and, um, is it tarragon? Which one? Time. It's beautiful, yes. Um, the Tuscan has rosemary, basil, and garlic. The Blood Orange is gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this paired with the black cherry. This is um, the traditional balsamic, so if you don't want a flavor infused in there, just the most perfect, incredible balsamic. Mm. These are awesome for dips, if you wanna make bread dips, if you wanna make crudite dips. They turn any salad into something spectacular. Might be my favorite of all, Miss mm. Pomegranate. It's Absolutely delicious. This is the black cherry, which they're, they're similar in flavor profile, so if you're someone who likes a little sweet with your savory, um, spectacular. And then we don't want you to forget about these great. Um, mm, I love those. Violet eats I these eat plain. <laughs> it's she is an odd child. This is the I Provence sea salt rub. So this one has that one's my favorite actually. Um, the Celtic sea salt, garlic, fennel, lavender. lavender, black pepper, marjoram, tarragon, mustard, onion. The Tuscan. So you can see how these layer really nicely mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, Suzanne loved her Celtic sea salt. Oregano, garlic, basil, thyme, black pepper, sage, rosemary, and red pepper. Um, there's a comma missing. Jill, will you make a note of that to the manufacturer <laughs> when we repent? Um, Tuscan. <laughs> and the Southwest. Oh, my gosh. If you need to make, like, a, a pork yeah. roast or... This one is spectacular. It, tur it makes a like a carne asada, a, you can make beautiful flavor profiles with this. It has garlic, cumin, the Celtic sea salt, of course, chili pepper, oregano, sage, thyme. It's, they're wonderful. So again, we're trying to give you the flavor profiles. If you are not a great cook, you can do this and it's automatic. A lot of people are asking about the pattern of your china. Oh, okay, so you guys, special. Can you hand me my drink? Yeah, Sorry. special, um, you Thank can you. hear the whole story on this. So, up here, got it? There we go. <laughs> when Bruce and I, right before we were married, we took a trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and we were at, um, we walked into a, this cute little antique store, and I saw this set of china in there, and I was like, not, I mean, this is not what you typically think you're going to pick up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Right? Yeah. This is like, it is, you can see on the back, it's Theodore Haviland and Limoges, and it says patent applied for. So what that does is authenticates how old it is because it's before Haviland was even patented. So this is a gold, it's called, I think it's called gold rose pattern. And I literally found 10 Plate, 10 full place settings with a few of the extra pieces that brought it up to like almost 12. And it has the, the dinner plate, the salad plate, and it also has a bread plate. So when you stack them all on top of each other, mm. it just looks like this beautiful flower. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I absolutely love it. And then I started collecting pieces over the years to go with it. So, okay, now I'm going to quickly make for you these... Um, zucchini blossoms so i i usually kind of free form it but this is from, Ooh, served this is from my book served um, if you haven't picked it up you gotta get it, it is still, it's this is this is not at suzannesummers.com it's at carolinesummers.com it's a hot one um but this is the zucchini the stuffed zucchini blossoms they're actually pretty easy to make the hardest thing is finding the zucchini flowers so I'm going to show you here how we're going to stuff them and twist them and then you just dip them in beaten egg and a little flour and you cook them in oil and then you serve them on some blistered tomatoes. So 
Let's do this, Violet. Okay, um, I got this cute ass container of ricotta cheese. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Of course, you can get any ricotta. Get a whole milk one. Person holding phone too loud. Sorry. Oh, it's just proximity. Please put phone closer to Caroline. It's just proximity. It's just the way these things work. Okay, so here's some. Caroline, are all your salad recipes in your served book? Not all of them, um, but if you go to SuzanneSummers.com and click on explore in the navigation bar and then click on recipes. A lot, I posted all the recipes that we've ever done with the Infusio there. And there are so many good recipes in there. Okay, so this is the ricotta and I'm only doing a few. Mmm, look at so, that. Yeah, I don't need a Looks lot of very this. fresca. That's, oh God, it's so good. Ricotta is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love it. You do. I've noticed that. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay, so normally you add ricotta with Parmesan and also um, some mozzarella. Turns out I didn't have mozzarella today, but that's okay. The, the main cheese that you need is the ricotta, but the mozzarella just gives it a little, um, a little extra pull. Okay, I'm going to add a little parsley. I'm going to add some salt. You are so adorable, Caroline. Oh, you're sweet. I'm going to add some freshly cracked pepper. Really, um, if you're using pre-grated pepper, it really does make a difference. You want it freshly cracked. This is... pre-grated pepper is quite stale. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the camera work. One of them is turned around on Facebook and the other one's the other way on Instagram. And like my grandmother, I don't know lefts and rights. So it's oh. really... Well, it's hard. It's messing with my yeah. sense of. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna combine this. Then um, I'm gonna show you how we can make a homemade Look little pastry bag. <gasps> mm, I love a pastry bag. Okay, so okay. if you don't have a pastry bag, all you need to do is get a plastic bag like this. My husband got these compostable ones. I love that. Okay, so you're just gonna put the corner down in a glass and then fold the top over like this, okay? My mom taught me this when I was little. And then you're going to fill it. If you have frosting or filling, whatever, whatever you might need to pipe, make it a little easier. Okay. And we're gonna take and roll it, just scooch it down. Okay, and then you're gonna twist off the top. Okay, now we have our little pastry bag. So all you need to do is clip off the bottom. Wait, we have a quick question. Um, I want to buy several served books and several small size vinaigrettes as New Year's 2024 gifts. Please let me know the best way to do this, if that makes sense. Um, it does, there are gonna be two separate purchases. So the served books, you will get at carolinesummers.com and the other books, the other gifts you'll get at suzannesummers.com. Does that make sense? And they come in mini sets, the vinaigrettes, oh, right? Oh, um, I, I am not, Jill said that we were short on those. I'm not sure if we have the minis, but check with customer service and they will definitely let you know. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. We have a lot of people who want you to be their personal chef. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do with these flowers. You're just going to carefully reach inside. I mean, how gorgeous wow. is that? Okay, you want to remove this piston. Okay. Makes more room for the filling. So we are gonna take, and it's okay. It's so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. It's okay if your leaves tear because you can just kind of twist them together over the top, but these are so fresh. They're really pliable and really cooperating beautifully. Not always do they come out like this. A lot of times the leaves tear, especially if they get moist at the at the tips. 
What were you saying, Violet? Nothing. Oh, okay. Just a camera thing. You're doing a great job. Don't right? mind the cinematographer. You're doing a great job. Okay, and this last one. Really, Where do you buy the zucchini flowers? Well, that's what I was saying. It's, it's something that when I see them at a farmer's market, um, it's usually in the summer, or I found these at Italy. They just happen to be there, So, or if you grow zucchini. So, okay, so here we go. We have now our beautiful flowers that are all opened and ready. Now, we're gonna take this little homemade pastry bag would you look at that and you just want to pipe a you know pretty generous amount in there wow and there are a couple ways that you can you can fold them up like this oh um, how cute look at that sweet one And you can see I started this, it looks, I mean, it's incredibly special thing to serve, but you know, whenever you take a recipe that seems complicated and you break it down, it is just, it's how many steps do you wanna take and do you have access to the good ingredients? I really had no interest in making zucchini blossoms and I'm like, I have to, look how perfect these are. They're so cute. This is like a beautiful present from nature. And what I love about them is that it's like having ravioli without the pasta. Mm. So instead you get these delicate petals, which become the way to, you know, it's, it's the way to hold the filling, the ricotta filling. This is the same filling that my grandmother made for her homemade ravioli. It's the exact same filling and you get that incredible flavor, no carbs, just a little dusting of flour. Violet, you are so lucky to have such a tremendous teacher. Don't I know it? Oh, Don't I know she it? She teaches me too. But she taught me everything about cooking. You have a natural instinct for cooking. Yeah, but you taught me. Well, thank you. Okay, so these are now ready to be battered and I'm going to set them over here. And now I'm just gonna take this. Well, I can do it here. Made your bolognese yesterday, delicious. Oh, I'm gonna make some tonight. And someone else said they were making something else from your book. Also, someone asked, can you buy served on Amazon? No, it is only available from the publisher. Um, because it's a self-published book, I can only order it through the publisher and they print it and send it to you directly, which is why I'm not able to sign them or... Um, but it's an easy website to remember because it's just your name, carolinesummers.com. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. Take this. All right, come on in, Violet. We're just gonna dip it in the egg. Oop, that's slimy. She needs a little more beating. And then you can dip it in the flour here. You can also use gluten-free flour if you prefer. They both work. Do you sell your aprons, someone asked? 
No, but I should, huh? Yeah, they're great. I also forgot I used to use salt and pepper in my, my egg and flour, so. Yeah, it's not that bad. Give this a little bit more of a whip. My nanny and mom used to make zucchini flowers, right? like a bread stuffing oh, in yeah. them and would pan fry them. Yes, that's coming next. You should do a pretend cooking show weekly. She kind of does on her stories. I know, but I was thinking about um, doing something, you know, that's a little more structured. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you would just like to have the ideas for dinners in advance that we could cook together. Um, and <laughs> someone said, OMG, in my next life, I want to be your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> too good but you know the trick you get to be my daughter but my daughter can't eat this <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> no, but you know, I can eat I can eat so gifts, much and we all have obstacles so this violet is allergic to eggs and dairy every now and then you can eat a little dairy now Not yeah I eat eggs. I eat a little dairy My stomach is not doing great this morning. But you had yourself a little gut. But I had a gut renew. I swear, the other day I was on live. I forget which day it was. And I was saying like, oh, my stomach's not feeling great. And I drank my gut renew. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say this. But I swear I was fine the rest of the day. Oh, really? It's crazy how it feels. It always feels so soothing on my gut. Okay. So um, you can carry me to be um, okay, so I'm going to blister the tomatoes, so I'm going to get the heat going on this. This is going to be the oil, oh, sorry, I have to get my lighter. Um, this is going to be the oil for the, there we go, um, for the zucchini blossoms. You can use olive oil, but olive oil is not great at high heat because it smokes, but I often just use it anyway. This pan takes a bit to heat up, so I'm gonna let that heat. Um, or you can use a neutral oil like safflower oil. I actually love peanut oil for frying. Avocado oil is good at high temperature. Um, so up to you what you wanna use. I think today I'm going to use olive oil for the tomatoes because it's a quick thing and I just like the flavor of it. And I'm going to use peanut oil for frying. Yes. That is so true. When my stomach hurts, I will drink a gut renew and my stomach feels better. Len Cow Missy said. Violet's got her. What kind did you make this morning? I made oh, chocolate that. banana. Oh, well, that's always a winner in my book. They said your dishes and pans are beautiful too. Thank you. How is Bruce not 500 pounds? <laughs> Bruce is a moderate guy. Uh, sort of. <laughs> when it comes to... Uh, make sure your tomatoes are dry if, before you blister them or they will cause you all kinds of, you'll get a lot of spray. So I'm just going to do it You know that today. this one's still on too, right? I do. It's, okay. it's, it's, because it's coated cast iron, it needs to. Turn the fans on. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I disconnected the smoke alarm. So, not as big as an issue, I think it's going to be. All right, so these are blistering, as you can see, very quickly. Okay, while that's happening, I'm going to heat up the frying oil. And again, I decided to use peanuts for this, just so that it doesn't smoke so much. You just want like a decent coating on the bottom of the pan. I'm going to let that heat up. Super fast. 
Um, let me get my, my display plate ready here. See how they're just starting to decompose a bit? That's what you want. Um, Saute, it actually means jump. Saute means jump. So we're just pulling, just pull the pan back to you. There we go. Okay, so those have just broken down enough. I'm going to put them on my little cinnamon plate here. And get, get them ready for. Look at that. Okay. Love to watch you cook, Caroline. You make it look so easy. Thank you. Put these here. Um, so why don't we, Violet, just tell everyone one more time about the gift cards. So we have last-minute gift cards. If you buy a $100 gift card, you get a $50 gift card free. And if you buy a $50 gift card, you get a $25 gift card free at SuzanneSummers.com. That is the deal. That's the deal. Um, okay, so... I am gonna start adding these. Let's see how my oil is. Oil feels good. What's the best cookware to use? Um, I, I really believe in investing in cookware because um, I will tell you that it, if you buy professional quality cookware, you'll buy it once and it'll last your whole life. This is mm -hmm. all clad and I got this when we got married 30 something years ago. Um, I've never had to replace it. It's older than I am. This is Le Creuset, which is a coated cast iron, and I love the way this cooks. It, con it conducts heat um, a little differently, but I love it. So I'm, I'm really happy with both of them. They want to see Maureen on the videos. So do we, but Maureen lives up north. Oh, yeah, Maureen... Um, you mean on the tribute video? No, they want to see her in the shows. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll, have to make some, I'll have to make trips up north. Yeah. Okay, so you can see this is starting to get brown. And you just want these to get golden. I'm going to put the heat down just Look at a that. little bit. So what it does is it gets that filling just warm and gooey. So pretty. Suzanne would always say, you know, cooking is, it is about all the senses. She would say the, the, mm. eye, the eye eats first. I love so that. Making your dish beautiful is part of what makes you attracted to wanting to eat it. I um, agree with that. Yeah. My least favorite phrase is don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, you I enjoy reading a book more when I enjoy its cover. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to get the little garnish ready for this. Okay, these are almost done. People are asking about Bunny. Do you want to tell them where Bunny is? Oh, Bunny's, Bunny's, <laughs> Bunny's actually Camilla. with her mother. <laughs> yeah, Camelia uh, doesn't have to be in the office this week, so she gets to have little buns with her and we really miss her but can you say the brand of the pans again i didn't hear what you said sure and i'll, I'll put a link on my site also i have a shopping guide um, on on carolinesummers.com yeah, i'll just I'll, I'll post a link for them so you know exactly the one okay so i'm going to start plating these now
Wow. Oh, okay. I guess I have to eat these. You do. I know. Okay, but I have to take these out so they don't get that. Look at that. Bruce, Bruce went to the 49ers game yesterday with his dad, so he is not home. Where are you celebrating Christmas? Here. Yes, I always host Christmas at home. Um, okay, so I guess come with me over here. <laughs> here we go. Here's our little Christmas setup. Yeah, from the light. Look at that. I should get a picture. Okay, yeah. We'll just, here, we'll get, um, we'll pose for it, and then we'll know that it's going to be a picture. There it is. Okay, so. Wait, go one more time. Cute. Cute. Okay, so here is my. I thought Bruce's father passed away. He is very much alive. No, he is really no. kicking it. Kicking it usually means passed. <laughs> no, in my generation, it means like she's okay, kicking it. Ready? Yeah, ready? oh, sorry, sorry. <gasps> wow. Look at this delicate, beautiful. So now do you put the oil on it or the vinegar? No. Oh. This is doesn't need it. Wow, look at that bite. How amazing. I don't want to burn the root from my, of my mouth, so I'm going to Blow. just let it hold for a moment. Mm. It's so good. I wish you guys could taste this. Yes, you wow. can buy the oils on the website, SuzanneSummers.com. Yes, oh my gosh. Has, what are the like, flower stuff with ricotta? Yes, ricotta and parmesan. Parmesan and usually a little mozzarella. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. You need a little wine with that. You're someone said, right. Lori. Violet and I went um, when we went to get the ingredients yesterday at Italy. We sat at the little wine bar and had. I had a little glass of Chianti and a little arugula salad. Violet had some carpaccio. How was your carpaccio? It was incredible. Mm -hmm. Really good. I mm. usually only get that in Florence. Someone said, a woman named Nani said, OMG, no, Nani is hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Nani hungry. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's so delicate. You know, people say, what does it taste like? You don't taste the petal. It just, you taste the filling, but it has that, just that beautiful little edge of that little fried. Hint. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm super happy right now. Call this a job? What? Mm. When I was in Italy at cooking class, we made these and they were just delicious. Oh, they're so good. My son swam with Danny Gilmartin at Sarah High School. Oh, really? We love him. Great. Danny. We got to see him. He came to the memorial up in Hillsboro. It was so nice. He's great. Mm. I have a hard time figuring out how to use my loyalty points. Someone There's said. a place um, on the site, on your own account, where it says redeem rewards. So if you have earned enough points that you can get prizes um make sure you do that and that's where you can also apply your loyalty points to your purchases which is great because you the more you know obviously the more you spend the more you save the townspeople are going crazy i can't take it yum i'm so hungry right now i wish you could come here because i have i'm getting hungry watching you mm. and this beautiful salad yeah this are salad is beautiful Look at this. I love Fusé. With the cookie and the this gorgeous pink. So look at the, you're getting some salt, you're getting some sweet, you're getting some creamy, you're getting some texture. How many recipes in the cookbook, they're asking? 
Mm. Make that. Look at that. It's so good. There are about 50 recipes in the cookbook and it's, it's really, um, it's, it's the recipes I make over and over and over again. When I was starting with my first book, you know, I did about 600 recipes with Suzanne and all the books that you guys have. So we collaborated on so many of those and I've always wanted to do my own book. And of course my book isn't following summer size guidelines so I can make everything. Um, and it was so overwhelming to think about what I could make, it, what I could put in the first book. And I wanted really, I wanted pictures for everything. So I just wrote down 50 things and I'm like, well, we definitely want these to be in there. And that's what the first book is. So it's a lot of my recipes that you guys have seen me make over and over and over again. My next book that I've just started working on is going to be my holiday book. And I'm going to do holiday menus throughout the year. I love that. I didn't know that. Yeah. What so, a great it's a big, idea. It's a big project because you really have to shoot it when things are in season. Like right now mm -hmm. for Christmas, I should be shooting, but she just finished a thesis. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, you want your Christmas tree there. So you want the flowers of the season and you want the foods of the season because that is how the best cooks cook with what is in season. We can get ingredients from a lot of places in the world now, so it makes us able to have a bigger variety. Uh, this salad is incredible. Okay, Violet is gonna make her ginger snaps now. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Mm. You wanna do, do you wanna move it over here or you wanna do it over there? Okay, well, let me get you some light, because... Oh, well, in the, like, there's lettuce over there. Yeah, let me just get you a little light. Let me get rid of these tomatoes. Okay, these okay are can not, you tell them the story of your ginger These are not gluten-free. So I had a second-grade teacher who was first... She was a science teacher, and she was my sister's science teacher when my sister was little, and my sister came home one day from school with this recipe for ginger snaps. Can I have light Oh, cookies? it was, can you put your hair up on a minute? It was actually, can I, yeah. Thank you. Can you make the day before an occasion the ginger snaps? Absolutely. Yes, you can freeze the dough for a while. But Camellia's always liked cooking, but I, like, loved cooking when I was little, so I think I just kind of stole the recipe and made them. I remember my mom saying, like, oh, let's make ginger snaps. I didn't really know what that was. So anyway, then we made them, and they were the best things ever. So this is the the gluten dairy. It is not an allergy friendly. Violet not does make a an allergy friendly one, but and that one's from Erin uh, McKenna's cookbook. Yeah, because she's the master of gluten free, dairy free. So you just make these little. You have to refrigerate the dough, and then you make little balls. I'm making a smaller size because I have to make a lot. People, I made some of these for Jeff's office, and when they're bite size, you can make more, and then everyone gets an abundant amount. There is nothing like getting a warm ginger snap from Violet. It is really, to me, she made some for Jeff's office, and then there was one little plate that was left. It was quite a hearty plate, I must say. I am going to say it is now gone. I thoroughly enjoyed it. They're, they're kind of special. Everyone kind of freaks out. Please. They really are. So maybe someday. Or, you know, maybe, well, maybe, maybe, in a surf book. maybe you will allow them in the holiday book. Maybe I will. It's a great, I think ginger snaps are really great for. Um, nurse Susan Elizabeth <laughs> said she wants you to wash your hands after touching your hair. <laughs> Nurse Susan. I can I can wash them. I've had that a lot, but like okay. my hair is really clean. Just Tracy off. said, I missed it. Where is the ginger snap recipe? <laughs> recipe please. Recipe please. <laughs> well, you, you guys, I told you. You have to wait. Maybe maybe it'll be in the search holiday book. Yeah. Or the Caroline Summers holiday book. What is she rolling the dough in? This is just cane sugar granulated sugar. Oh, and I forgot. I actually am supposed to flatten these a little bit because last time they... Yeah, but that's after you roll them. No, actually what I do, what I did last time, because these, when they're smaller sometimes, they don't flatten as much, and I like not too flat of a cookie, but like, 
you know, not too chunky. So I flatten them a little bit. Susan Elizabeth said, I'm sorry, it's the nurse in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's right, so there's no need to be mm -hmm. sorry. Nurses are angels. It's true. I love ginger snaps for the holidays because... <laughs> Is the ginger snap recipe being held hostage? <laughs> Lo, come on, it's Christmas. <laughs> Cheryl, I haven't even started writing the holiday book yet. Yeah. But, um... I was gonna say I love this flavor for Christmas time because I feel like there are certain I'll only make them around Christmas time. Like I can't make these in the summer or anything. Fall. Like, no, um, I don't even make them. Oh, I love them for fall. Yeah, late fall, but like early fall is a snickerdoodle to me. Carolyn Giannotti, you may watch the entire memorial service at SuzanneSummers.com. I love the way Suzanne quickly washed her hands sometimes without soap after touching meat. Hey, getting getting her to wash them at all is it was me off screen saying you have to wash your hands. We're very similar. My yeah, grandmother and I. it's true. We're both very messy. <laughs> she like tidy but messy. Um, she's dipping them in granulated sugar. Um, Sandra is egg free too, so she said she needs the recipe. Sandra, the gluten free egg free one that Violet makes that one is from Erin McKenna mm -hmm. so that is um she's she's making the fully loaded ones today and these the great thing about these is that if you put the convection on they bake especially at the small size they cook really fast and the trick is I'll show you when we take them out but the trick is you take them out when they have just puffed up so you don't take them out when they start to crack necessarily. Maybe you get like a crack or two, but when they just puffed up, then you let them sit on the cookie sheet and bake for a little longer. That is the key to any good cookie because recipe. You chewy. have to take them out and let them cook. Yeah. Um, Dawn Alice would like to know when Growback will be back in stock. Jill, do you have an answer for her? My Jill, I am, I am Italian, Carolyn. That's why I spelled your name. That's why I know how to pronounce your name. Um, thank you for those of you who are making comments about the memorial service and crying and be, I know it's so, so beautiful. How long are the balsamics good unopened? Um, unopened, I mean, I, I can't imagine they would ever go bad. Opened, um, I've never had one go bad. <laughs> the oil is a little more temperamental because oil will go rancid. But those balsamics have been aged so long. You just want to put them on your counter. You, they don't need to go in a refrigerator. Um, so, you know, the answer is a long time, but I don't have an exact amount because it depends on all the factors of where you live and how much humidity there is. And um, the bottom line is the balsamics, because they're already aged 12 years, they they really don't go bad. Oh, this is 400? Uh, it's it's always 25 degrees to cool so i always add 25 degrees because i had it calibrated we'll bake them for just five minutes oh just five minutes yeah because of the of because the small size yeah and because it's, so someone give us a timer five minutes okay oh well that's going to be exactly noon i think he's rolling longer when is the vanilla cream oh you guys grow back is coming in this week Oh, Kathy said the memorial was precious. I now have closure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm happy. I'm, you know, I think that's exactly why we wanted to share everything with you guys because we know you need closure. But I was talking about it with Kathy. Violet, you did so great at the service and Daisy's voice. Wow. Right. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I, did, I was talking about it with Jeff. I actually don't think I'll ever really have closure about it because I still really feel her with me. And I'm just never gonna stop thinking about her. I so. had an amazing dream this morning mm -hmm. and it was a visit for sure. And she, in my dream, she had just passed and we were like dealing with her body. Mm -hmm. And so we were all in shock in my dream. And then she started moving her hands and started like, I'm like, you guys, she's alive. And then she like turned and looked at me with this huge smile. Aww. And it was, 
me realizing that in the stream she was telling me that as soon as she died she was born in a new world yes and then i the follow-up to that beautiful dream was she saw alan and she looked at him and she jumped up and wrapped her legs around him and wrapped her arms around him and gave him this huge hug and i thought oh that's so beautiful she's it was so sweet. It was so sweet. So that's what I woke up to this morning is that reminder that in my belief in death is a rebirth. I don't, I'm not sure we ever really die. I mean, I guess I've, our bodies goes to show. Like, yeah. I still feel Zanny so presently. So I just don't really feel like she's gone. She's just not here. Well, I also think for someone who for someone who was such a force in this life of course she will be a force as in in her spirit so the spirit i believe lives on um patty thinks she should butter the pan but I know. but they don't I need to be buttered do they no they do oh does it i don't think it's going to matter it does Oh, interesting. You have two more minutes. Um, while she's rolling those out, I'm just going to remind you about the, oops, the light's not over here anymore, but you'll get the idea. The beautiful Infusio products. We have all of these beautiful infused olive oils and these unbelievably great balsamics and the sea salt rubs and these all can just make you such a better cook or if you are a great cook you are so going to appreciate these beautiful flavor profiles it makes any salad just a work of art truly um, today i used the meyer lemon with the vanilla fig great combination i love the blood orange with the pomegranate or the black cherry the tuscan herb for a dip, if you want to use like the Tuscan herb or the herb de Provence, and then put a little of the sea salt rub in there, and then use any one of these. I, I can't tell you. I mean, they're all the combinations are so delicious. They're just great. So we're just recapping a little bit. If you were looking for my book, it is called Served, and you can find that at carolinesummers.com. If you are looking for gift cards. They are at SuzanneSummers.com. It's digital delivery, so you can order those all the way up through Christmas. And if you buy a gift card for $100, you get a $50 gift card for free. It is, we only do this twice a year. It is free money. So if you purchase at SuzanneSummers.com, if you want to get this, it, it comes to you, so you can use this as a credit. So you're going to get $150, but you're only going to pay $100. So it is a... And just starting to crack. They're gonna simmer, but they're gonna settle down and yeah. wow, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. The memorial was not at our home, it was at the Stone Eagle Club. But it looks this the view is very similar to her home. And then the second memorial was up north in her hometown and it was at the Hillsboro Racket Club. And it was beautiful, they were both beautiful. Yeah, Elizabeth Jones said best deal ever. It is, Elizabeth, it is the, the most incredible deal because it is, it's free money. My doctor told me to use less toxic ingredient, which is your least scented shampoo. What would you say, Violet? Well, they're all- They're all non-toxic. Yeah, they're all made with essential oils. So probably the wild orange vanilla is going to have the least, you're, you're going to notice the least fragrance in that, but they're all made with just essential oils. There's no artificial fragrance in anything. Yeah. Um, yeah can you break one of these apart so we can? Well, they're so soft right now. Okay. All right, well, this is our... We'll show you. 
because I still have to cook a little bit okay. on the tray. Well, this is our show, guys. So thank you for joining us. And we are going to be back on Wednesday with Alan. Um, I will be there. I'm not sure who else is coming with me. But Wednesday with Alan in Palm Springs. See you guys then. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys.